The state attorney's office has released its year in review for 2018, highlighting its accomplishments from cracking down on gangs to getting more rape kits tested to cold cases. Action News Jacks, Lorena Inkland is going through that report. And Lorena, one of the areas that the state attorney is particularly proud of is in the use of more civil citations for juveniles. Yeah, this took a big part of that report. It was a 40 page report, talked about this a lot. In 2018, the Fourth Circuit handed out 704 civil citations to el eligible youth. That's up from 548 in 2017 and just 309 in 2016. These are pre arrest citations that serve as sort of like a warning for a common. And youth misbehavior. The state attorney's office has really embraced this concept as a way to keep youth out of the justice system for minor offenses. It also saves taxpayer money with fewer arrests and incarcerations. The annual report also highlighted its program Keys to Drive, which Action News Jacks covered when it first launched last year. The diversion program aims to keep minor traffic offenders out of the cycle of fines and fees they've accumulated. And since the program launched, more than 400 licenses were issued with an estimated savings of more than $66,000 to the criminal justice system. And these are programs that aim to give those who qualify, that's the key word here, qualify, a second chance. We're not talking about serious offenders, but instead people who have committed minor infractions and have gotten caught up in the system as a result. It's one of the things the state attorney Melissa Nelson has really tried to focus on through her time in office. Reporting live in the studio, Lorena Inkland, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.